She endured a terrible family tragedy, but now Natalia Bryant is thriving academically and professionally, while also keeping the legacy of her superstar dad alive. Kobe and Vanessa Bryant became first-time parents when their daughter Natalia was born on January 19, 2003. As the new dad gushed at the time, I'm excited to play basketball, but to be honest, I really didn't want to leave. I did not want to take my eyes off her and my wife. She looks just like Vanessa, thank God. She has a head full of hair just like her mama. A day after Natalia was born, Kobe returned to the basketball court while wearing his hospital ID bracelet as a tribute to his newborn daughter. Natalia became a big sister in 2006 when daughter number two Gianna was born. Her next sister Bianca came along in 2016, and then daughter number four Capri arrived in 2019. As the daughter of an NBA star, Natalia Bryant had a bit of a privileged childhood, which included elite schools, luxurious vacations, and star-studded events with her parents. But beyond the perks of celebrity, the Bryants enjoyed a relatively normal family life. For example, they had annual traditions like going to see the Nutcracker, building gingerbread houses, and watching movies like Home Alone and Charlie Brown. According to Natalia herself, she never felt stifled by her father's fame. As she explained to Teen Vogue, growing up, my parents made it as normal as possible. Thank God they did. It's not, oh, she's Natalia Bryant. She's Kobe Bryant's daughter. And even though Kobe was busy playing basketball, he was also a constant figure in his daughter's lives. As he told the Los Angeles Times in 2019, for me to make the trip up to Staples Center, that means I'm missing an opportunity to spend another night with my kids when I know how fast it goes. I want to make sure the days that I'm away from them are days that I absolutely have to be. I'd rather be with them than doing anything else. With a dad like Kobe Bryant, it would make perfect sense for his kids to follow in his athletic footsteps. But he and Vanessa didn't push them down one clear path, instead encouraging them to embrace their imaginations. As Natalia revealed to Town & Country in 2024, my parents would ask me, do you have a story? And I'd say, oh, okay, there was this princess. During her childhood, Natalia was introduced to movies that stirred her creativity even further. And years later, she went on to study film in college. During a ceremony in Hollywood honoring her father in March 2023, she revealed, One may wonder why I developed such a fondness for movies like Star Wars, Harry Potter, the complete Marvel Universe, and Goonies, amongst many others. Well, the reason behind it is that I watched all of these movies with my dad. Each of those memories I will never forget. Natalia Bryant isn't a budding basketball star like her dad, but she definitely has an athletic side. In particular, she became enamored with volleyball while watching a match at the London Olympics in 2012. She ended up playing for her high school's varsity team and planned to go even further. As she told Teen Vogue in 2021, I wanted to play volleyball in college. I played club volleyball with the intention of becoming a D1 athlete, but the deaths of her father and sister Gianna in 2020 prompted Bryant to reassess many aspects of her life, including her volleyball future. Ultimately, she decided that her heart wasn't in it anymore. As she told Teen Vogue, I knew I didn't love volleyball as much as they love basketball. I'm okay with that. After setting her volleyball dreams aside, Natalia embraced amateur skiing. As she explained, it's so relaxing. You think about what you're doing in the moment. It's about being present. On January 26, 2020, the Bryant family suffered a terrible tragedy when Kobe and Gigi Bryant were killed in a helicopter crash that also took the lives of seven other individuals. In the following days, murals and memorial tributes sprang up across Los Angeles as the world grieved. A few days afterwards, Vanessa Bryant wrote on Instagram, there aren't enough words to describe our pain right now. The following January, one of Natalia Bryant's Instagram followers asked if she was hiding her grief behind a brave face, to which she responded, I thought I was not going to answer you, but I thought it would be important to share it in case someone here is dealing with their own problems. I sincerely believe that the most important thing is to surround yourself with a small circle of people you trust and to be able to express your feelings with them when you are sad or not feeling well. This is also a lot easier said than done, but just know that you are never alone. Considering who her parents are, it's no wonder that Natalia Bryant grew up to be stunningly beautiful. And she's also become a bit of a style icon. As she signed with IMG Models in 2021, her mother was totally on board with Natalia's modeling ambitions, but she had one stipulation. As Natalia told Teen Vogue, For my mom, it was really important for me to go through high school and get my education, especially complete college too. Natalia agreed to make school a priority while pursuing modeling, and since launching her career, she's posed for major brands like Ugg, Versace, and Victoria's Secret Pink. 
In 2024, she made her runway debut when she was featured in Versace's Spring 2024 show at Milan Fashion Week. She graced the catwalk in a show-stopping black dress with angular shoulders, paired with metallic flats and a chic handbag. Before the show, she told Vogue, I wanted to start fresh and do my own thing without having to worry about comparing myself to anyone or setting myself to anyone's standard. Best style advice you've ever been given. I would say just try to be you. In 2021, Natalia Bryant enrolled at the University of Southern California, where she chose to pursue a filmmaking degree. The following year, she gushed to Entertainment Tonight, I'm loving everything. I feel like this whole year flew by so fast. It was everything I expected and honestly more. It was just everything. So I'm so happy to be with everybody that I like. I've just loved everyone that I've met. I want to win an Oscar. I'm not sure for what or for what Oscar. Oscar category, but I definitely think that's on my list. Bryant is clearly finding her stride and her crew at college, which was evident in January 2022 when actor Storm Reid revealed on Instagram that she and Bryant were roommates. Still, school can be stressful, especially when balancing it with a bustling modeling career. But it sounds like Bryant is making it all work. As she told People Magazine, I love having an open mind. In regards to having a full-time school schedule and also balancing modeling, I do think that you need to just embrace whatever the future has in store. Even though Natalia Bryant is incredibly busy with school and modeling, she always has time to dote on her sisters Bianca and Capri. There's a bit of an age gap, and Natalia is devoted to being a sisterly role model for the little ones. And that's pretty clear on her Instagram, where she proudly displays their heartwarming relationship. Just like their big sister, Bianca and Capri are also taking an interest in fashion. As Natalia revealed to People Magazine in 2024, my sisters are such fashionistas, especially my little sister Bianca. She is such a strong personality and she knows what she wants. She wakes up, she knows what she wants to wear, she knows how to style, she'll know how to style me. It's so awesome to be able to see fashion and see life through their eyes. And Bryant's late sister Gianna is never far from her heart. In 2022, Natalia paid tribute to her on what would have been her birthday by writing on Instagram, Happy Sweet Sixteen, my dearest Gigi. I love you to the moon and back forever and always. In May 2021, Natalia Bryant and her mother Vanessa starred in a short film for Vogue to commemorate Mother's Day. They were pure elegance in dual black dresses. As Natalia revealed, my mom, she's really the strongest person I've ever known. And Vanessa responded in kind, you're such an amazing, not only just an amazing daughter, but an amazing friend. You're like the constant North Star to all your friends. No matter what, you're always there and they can always rely on you and count on you. You've always been my rock my entire life. After the deaths of Kobe and Gianna, it's clear that Natalia and Vanessa can always depend on each other. In 2020, Vanessa sued Los Angeles County after learning that several sheriff's deputies had reportedly taken and shared photos of the wreckage of the helicopter crash. Natalia attended the trial to faithfully support her mom, and in 2023, the Bryant family received a $28.8 million settlement. As if balancing school and modeling wasn't impressive enough already, Natalia Bryant took on another sweet gig in 2023. That was when she worked as an intern on Beyonce's Renaissance World Tour. As Bryant raved to town and country, it was such an amazing experience. When she landed the internship, her mom Vanessa was there to cheer her on and help her brush up on Beyonce's catalog. She played Natalia snippets from the singer's former girl group Destiny's Child to see if she could recall the names of those songs. But as Natalia admitted, I'm horrible with lyrics, like horrible. She'll play the song and and it's a throwback, and I'm like, Mom, I swear I know this song. I swear I'm cultured. It's possible that Natalia may have scored the internship with some help from Beyonce herself. After all, she and her husband Jay-Z are dear friends of the Bryant family. Beyonce sang at Kobe Bryant's memorial service, and Natalia has even referred to her as Auntie Bibi on social media. Natalia Bryant turned 21 on January 19, 2024. To ring in the milestone, she threw a grand party with friends and family. She rocked the event in a cherry red mini dress adorned with two large, sparkly hearts. For an elegant touch, she also styled her hair into a sleek, shoulder-length bob. Partygoers kicked off the evening by gathering with the birthday girl around a pink heart-shaped cake. The festivities also featured a photo booth or Bryant captured priceless moments with her loved ones. The star-studded guest list included the likes of Sierra, 
Kelly Rowland, and Winnie Harlow. In honor of the momentous occasion, Natalia's mom shared a heartfelt tribute to her daughter on Instagram as she declared, Happy 21st birthday, Natalia Bryant. We love you so much. You are what every parent hopes and prays for. You are such a beautiful, strong, smart, loving young woman with the kindest soul, and I am so proud to be your mommy. Natalia Bryant is working hard to make a name for herself, but it goes without saying that she'll always be associated with her famous father. She may be focused on her own future, but she's also intent on preserving her dad's memory. As she told Teen Vogue in 2021, I love talking about my dad. It's bittersweet, but I enjoy talking about him more than it's sad for me. In 2023, Bryant celebrated the addition of her father's handprints and footprints to the TCL Chinese Theater's famous Four Court of the Stars in Hollywood, as she declared at the unveiling. Being his daughter is one of the greatest joys in my life, and I hope to continue to embody and cherish the many lessons he has taught me. Thanks to her father's enduring legacy, Natalia can easily access his wisdom. All she has to do is refer to the Mamba mentality, a philosophy that Kobe cultivated through his legendary NBA career and his charitable work. As Natalia explained to Elle in 2023, Mamba mentality is about constantly trying to be the best version of yourself. It's putting your best foot forward at all times, regardless of all the noise. I want to make sure that mentality stays intact.